Hello, thank you for clicking on this channel. My name is Dale, this channel is Flippin' Fiasco, and I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. As a thank you to all of you who have subscribed here, I'm going to do a $50 Amazon gift card giveaway. All you have to do is leave a comment in the comment box below, and you'll be entered to win. I will pick that winner at the end of this month, so you have all month to comment and then maybe the user might find something in my Amazon links below that they'll click through. I do earn a small commission on that, um, but they can maybe pick up some items for their reselling business or who doesn't find something on Amazon that they can use. So I thought that would be a great giveaway. Again, I appreciate all of you so much. If you're not subscribed, now would be the time to hit the subscribe button hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new content, hit the thumbs up, and don't forget to leave a comment to be entered to win. Today is a Monday morning coffee talk, Monday morning coffee talk. And Monday morning coffee talks are where I share my sales with you. And I also like to talk about other things that have been happening in my reselling business. First off, I wanna give a huge thank you to Renee and Joe, from Flippin' Flamingos for having me on their auction last Wednesday. And it was my first time ever doing a live auction on YouTube, but it was a great experience. All of my auctions sold and I moved a lot of inventory, which was my main goal. And I know that a lot of my viewers from this channel followed us over there. So I wanna thank you all for your support. And I also wanna thank those who had winning bids it was James, then we have Kat, the nurse flipper, always so supportive, Doreen, another loyal supporter, KJ, Becky, who has purchased from me numerous times, Becky, thank you so much, another Becky, and Todd. And so I actually ended up with 10, lot, um, 10 lots that I auctioned off, three went to James, and two went to Doreen, and then everybody else um, had one lot each. So thank you to everybody who did purchase from me, but I also know that I had friends in the auction who did not purchase. Some of you even did make bids, but then it didn't have the winning bid. So thank you to Kristen, Esme, Lindsay, um, I'm trying to think of who every, everybody that I saw in the chat. It was really hard for me to keep up with the chat while the auction was going on. So if I missed you, I'm sorry, but thank you so much for all of your support. I really appreciate it. So I'm not going to include those sales in my sales total, but I will tell you that those 10 sales netted me about $300. That does not include cost of goods. That just deducts out the shipping cost. Um, I really don't know how much of a profit that I actually made if I would include cost of goods, but again, it was moving inventory that I was going to have a hard time listing and getting moving another way. So I was happy to make that $300 towards covering the cost of all of those goods. So in other selling news, I did have a total of 18 sales in the past two weeks. So these are my sales from um, April 18th to May 1st. So the last two weeks of April, 18 sales with a gross sales of $386. After fees, cost of goods, and shipping, I was left with about a $200 net profit. And I wanted to let you know too that I did have five days of zero sales. And actually I started off this two week period with three days of no sales. So reselling really is a roller coaster and you just have to ride those waves because it was very it it does feel very defeating when you have a few days of no sales like that, but thankfully it did turn around and as a part-time reseller I try to average at least one sale a day. So 18 sales in 14 days, I got a little bit over that and very happy with a $200 net profit. I had 15 eBay sales and three Poshmark sales. I haven't actively posted anything on Mercari or Facebook Marketplace, so it's not really a huge surprise that I haven't had sales on those platforms. And I have been using the Poshmark sharing tool, not as heavily as I should, 
but I definitely had some of my energy focused towards the auction for the past week. So definitely in the past week, I didn't use it like I should have. Um, but I am seeing that that definitely has helped increase my sales with Posh. So I still really love the Poshmark sharing tool. And I'm not paid to say that. <laughs> All right. So first on Poshmark, I sold a Kate Spade teal zipper pouch, which sold for $12. And that came in a fun box with my average cost being about $3.33 per item. So I cleared about $3 after the fees and cost of goods. Then I sold a scarf on Poshmark. It was a Vera Newman 100% silk scarf, which I purchased from Kat the Nurse Flipper. And my cost of goods was $2.50. It sold for $18. So about a $12 profit after fees and cost of goods. On eBay, I finally sold <laughs> some um, splat like Pampers splashers. They're like swim diapers. <laughs> um that were a size five and they sold for five dollars plus shipping though so it was actually the buyer was fourteen dollars and 58 cents all in but after fees cost of goods shipping i only made about two dollars i don't know why i thought they were going to sell so well but they sat all through last season so finally at the beginning of this swimming season somebody picked them up on eBay, I sold a Fossil Women's Watch for $19.99 plus shipping. After fees and cost of goods, I had about a $15 profit. And that did take a little while to sell, I will say. It sat for a little bit. On eBay, I sold a record from 1972. It was the Best of Mother Goose. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. That was from my dollar estate auction, so still not a sales week that's gone by without a sale from there. Um, after fees, cost of goods, shipping, about a $7 profit. I'll stop saying the after stuff. <laughs> I sold a pair of Ann Taylor Loft earrings for $9.75 with about a $4 profit. A, I actually sold two uh, St. Francis Tau Cross sterling precious um they were sterling silver like a pendant or metal they were called it's a franciscan cross these were pins and they each sold i believe for 22 dollars 99 leaving me with a profit of about 35 dollars for two on ebay i sold a pair of like clogs from sweden they were lada brand very nice, in great condition. I found them at Goodwill for $7.49. They sold pretty quickly for $29 plus shipping on eBay. And so I made a profit of about $17.50. Then on Poshmark, I had my third sale. It was a Lily Pulitzer Blue Denim Wide Leg Capris. I actually had bought these on Poshmark for myself, but then they ended up not fitting quite right. So I reposhed them and sold them for $20. I did still make a little bit of a profit, about $4 after fees and cost of goods. On eBay, I sold this gorgeous Napier triple strand. It was off-white pearls with a um, this beautiful bow clasp. It was a very pretty necklace and it sold for $27.99 plus shipping. And I wanted to, I think that I sent that priority because the buyer was $36.47 all in. My profit was about $27. So happy with that one. Then I sold a vintage Churchill wind up pocket watch that had a train theme on it. It was a really nice watch. It sold for $40 plus shipping. Buyer was $51.15 all in. And I made about a $34 profit. On eBay, I sold a round metal souvenir serving tray from Texas for $8 plus shipping. The buyer was $14.78 all in. I picked that up at the Goodwill outlets and it was very lightweight. So I paid like practically nothing for it. So I made about an $8 profit. On eBay, I sold a Funko Pop. It was from Blacklist Elizabeth Keene. 
and it sold for seven dollars my cost was two dollars and fifty cents i picked it up from facebook marketplace and buyer did pay shipping so i made about a four dollar profit on that item on ebay i sold a silver box chain necklace that had this half circle with rhinestones it was simply vera from vera wang i believe sold at kohl's and that sold for ten dollars I got about about a five dollar profit on that item. I sold on eBay a blue lapis bead like strand of necklace, a really long like thirty four inch strand that was just all these chips. Um, it sold for fifteen dollars, leaving me with about a nine dollar profit. I sold an Avon rhinestone like vine theme necklace for $10 plus $1.99 shipping. Th that left me with about a $6 profit. And last, I sold a silver tone rhinestone clasp bracelet for $9.99, leaving me with about a $4 profit. So I love jewelry. I love doing the jewelry unboxings. And if I can sell the items for about $10 or so, then I'm making some profit. And I also just really enjoy it. Those are my sales for two weeks. Thank you for being here and I'll catch you next time.